Want to know how to catch a big fish? There's plenty of information out there on where to find fish, what fishing lures to use, and how to predict where fish are going to be. Do you trust the proven traditions of the popular sport, or do you go with your gut when trying to catch the next big fish? Are you going to be smiling for a fish pick, or talking about the one that got away? Maybe you'll break a record. Who knows? You're about to see some incredible and massive creatures, and not all of them are fish. Here are the 15 biggest catches of all time. With its mouth wide open, my friend drops the chum thing into the mouth. Number 15. Crocodile fishing. Two Australian fishermen got more than a thrill on a recent fishing adventure. They nearly became bait for a monster saltwater crocodile. Dak and Daniel were fishing at a top end billabong when one of them hooked onto an absolute donkey of a bara. Australian for fishing in a northern Australian backwater, they caught a huge fish, or so they thought. Unfortunately for the pair, their excitement was also shared by what looked to be a 16 foot saltwater crocodile watching their endeavors from nearby. As Daniel kept reeling, his catch towards the bank, the crocodile started moving in on the fish, and Dak started filming. Excitement quickly turns to fear when he pulls in the fish, thought to be a barramundi, only for a monster crocodile to quickly follow in pursuit. The video was uploaded to YouTube, where it quickly racked up over a thousand views and dozens of comments. We all need a mate like Daniel's mate. He was giving great fishing advice and keeping him safe, and he videoed it all for us to enjoy, wrote one social media user. Saltwater crocodiles grow over 20 feet long and can weigh over a ton. Experts estimate that there are as many as 200,000 saltwater crocodiles living in Australia, mainly in the Northern Territory and far North Queensland. No, it's so big! It's so big, he's swallowing it! Now, let's get ready for today's open discussion. Although there is very little information about this image, it appears to have been taken sometime in the late 90s by a vessel that was hunting tiger sharks. This spectacular display of great white shark jumping out of the water is called breaching. It's said that sharks can swim as fast as 40 miles per hour while swimming near the surface, and as you can see the speed it would take to launch such a massive beast out of the water, it's just amazing to look at. Imagine experiencing that incredible shark behavior in the wild. Before we move on, if you don't smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell today, it, the clown, will appear under your bed tonight. Number 14. The Tuna King Not only is Ken Frazier's Bluefin the biggest tuna ever recorded, it's also one of the most iconic records of all time. He landed the world record bluefin tuna on October 26, 1979, fishing with Captain Eric Sampson aboard Lady and Misty out of Nova Scotia, Canada. Frazier needed only 45 minutes to bring in the largest tuna ever caught. After nearly 10 hours of dehydrating in the boat, the bluefin tuna still weighed an incredible 1,496 pounds. This world record tuna has stood for almost 40 years and we may never see that record broken until now. 178 kilo prize was far higher than his own previous record. David Edwards was fishing off the south coast of Ireland when he caught the 600 pound bluefin tuna, which would have been worth around $3 million. But because he and his crew weren't out fishing for commercial purposes, they released it back into the ocean. Edwards was out with a team who are part of an ongoing catch and release program to try and collect population figures for the fish in the northeast Atlantic. They were out about three miles from their base when they landed the huge fish and hauled it aboard. Before tagging the eight and a half foot fish and re-releasing it, Edwards got a snap of it to share on social media because, as we all know, picks or it didn't happen. He boasted online, finally got the first bluefin tuna to be caught, tagged and released on the south coast of Ireland. 102 inches long, five to 600 pounds in weight, and well done by my crew for the day. Would you have kept that $3 million tuna? Number 13. Gigantic Greenland Shark in 2013, it'll go into the history books that the world's largest Greenland shark and the world's second largest fish was caught on rod and reel. It was anglers Asgir Avstad and John Olaf Floro Larsen from Norway that achieved this epic task on their quest for large Greenland sharks in Norway. On the first night out, they scored big. 
After one and a half hours of fighting with the ancient creature lurking at over 2,000 feet, the giant Greenland shark surfaced, measuring it quickly to over 15 feet long and 8 feet wide, native to the North Atlantic and Arctic waters around Greenland, Canada, and Iceland. Species that live there can grow to gigantic sizes, and Greenland sharks can too, reaching over 22 feet in length and weighing over a ton easily. An entire reindeer, including its antlers, was discovered in the stomach contents of one individual, while the remains of polar bears have been found in others. Healthy appetites indeed, but difficult to catch. Interesting fact, because of their long life, Greenland sharks may still be recovering from being overfished before World War II. The shark's livers were once used for machine oil, but not anymore. Can you imagine the thrill of catching this mega shark? Number 12. Deep Sea Squid Fishing Giant squid, also known by their scientific name, Archituthis, have been the stuff of both legend and science for hundreds of years. Stories of the great tentacled kraken in Scandinavia are some of the earliest indications that such monsters were thought to exist. Giant squid have also left evidence of their existence tangled up in fishing nets and washed ashore all over the world. Despite their massive size, adults can grow to up to 40 feet from tip to tentacle and weigh up to 610 pounds. Searching for them has been a needle in a haystack endeavor. Yet, Japanese fishermen have hauled up another giant squid in their nets, and this time it was alive. The squid was almost 20 feet long, including its tentacles. Local fishermen have reported a disturbing rise in giant squid catches in the past year or so. They say the squid are coming closer to the surface and into their shrimp nets, which are dragged underwater around 985 feet. Until 2014, only eight specimens had been identified in 50 years, according to the local Japanese press. Everybody's excited. Mm -hmm. Then eight were caught in the waters of Niigata alone and several more in Toyama Prefecture. On Christmas Eve in 2015, spectators on a pier in central Japan were treated to a rare sighting of a giant squid. The creature swam under fishing boats close to the surface and hung around the bay for several hours before it was ushered back to open water. Number 11. Real Life Moby Dick Moby Dick, the novel about Captain Ahab's search to kill a great white whale, was based on real-life events. Born in 1819, author Herman Melville grew up during the peak of American dominance of the whaling industry between 1820 and the start of the Civil War. Weaving contemporary accounts in his own experiences as a whaler, Melville created his American masterpiece. The name of the whale was also inspired by real-life events. In 1839, Melville read a story in a magazine about an albino sperm whale famed for its deadly attacks on whaling ships trying to hunt it down. This whale, killed off the coast of Chile near Mocha Island, was called Mocha Dick. Named after the island of Mocha in Chile, near where he was first spotted, was one of the largest, most powerful sperm whales of 19th century lore. He reportedly destroyed more than 20 whaling ships and escaped another 80. The huge whale became famous for escaping ships over the next 28 years before he was at last killed by whalers. This renowned monster was an old bull whale. It was also white as snow. And here's where it gets weird. Instead of projecting his spout forward, accompanied by a snorting noise, as usual with his species, he flung water from his nose at regular and somewhat distant intervals, producing a continuous roar. He was a most extraordinary albino whale, according to reports, or in fisherman talk, a genuine old sog of the first water. Number 10. Alfred Dean's Great White Shark Forget the biggest, baddest fish you've ever caught, Alfred Deans was bigger. To this day, the great Australian holds the world record for the largest fish ever caught with the humble rod and reel, a mighty great white shark that weighed over a ton. It was April 1955. Alf was out on the waters of Seduna, a small South Australian town. After dancing unsuccessfully with some smaller sharks, the prize Alf had been after all this time graced him with his presence. The crew knew they were in for a battle. Alf made especially sure his strike was secure and began to play for an hour, the shark throwing everything it could at the crew. Yeah, it was no use. Before the clock had spun through 70 minutes and the shark was caught, it was a gargantuan 2,664 pounds. A 23 foot long, 5,500 pound great white was reportedly caught off the coast of Hualien County in Taiwan in 1997. And again in 2009, an American angler successfully caught and released the biggest fish in history. With its mouth wide open, I 
friend drops the chum thing into the mouth. A great white shark estimated at a phenomena 4,600 pounds. The ocean's most feared predator was captured by big game fishermen and film producer Chris Fisher off the coast of Baja in Mexico. His catch included three sharks in excess of 4,000 pounds, the biggest being a 16-foot-long female. And it's the first time that fish of this size have been examined and tagged alive. Number 9. Easy Grizzly Fishing Today in Alaska, Katmai National Park and Preserve also protects 9,000 years of human history, an important habitat for salmon and thousands of brown bears. There are no roads into King Salmon, Alaska, the town closest to the park. There are definitely no roads into Katmai itself. This means that all the fishermen and their fishing equipment are required to arrive by commercial plane, then float plane. Basically, it's very remote. Video has emerged, taken during the summer of 2018, capturing the moment when an Alaskan grizzly bear in the Katmai Park and Reserve catches a large salmon in its mouth. The bear makes the catch look easy. The big grizzly occupies one of the valuable salmon high traffic zones, which bears fight over in order to catch and consume as many fish as possible. So many salmon are jumping up the waterfall that the grizzly can just chill out until a fish jumps into the right spot where it can be easily snatched out of thin air. One can only wonder at how many fish are caught versus how many make it past the multiple grizzly bear gauntlets along the rivers. As part of their life cycle, both Pacific and Atlantic salmon leave the ocean and swim upstream till they reach the locations where they reap produce and start anew the salmon life cycle. Scientists have revealed that salmon often return with amazing precision to the very river they were born in. This event is crucial to many creatures, including the Alaskan grizzly bear. Number 8. Record-breaking black marlin Houston businessman Alfred Glazell Jr. was a well-known philanthropist, but many never knew of his devotion to large species of game fish, not only sport, but also for research and conservation, including the world record black marlin caught by Glassell in 1953 off the coast of Cabo Blanco, Peru. Footage of the catch was used in the 1958 film The Old Man and the Sea, starring Spencer Tracy. At 1,560 pounds, it set the world record for largest black marlin ever caught with a rod and reel, a record that still stands despite modern improvements to boats and fishing gear. To understand how crazy an accomplishment like this is, take a look at it. This tiny rod that Glassell is thrusting victoriously towards the heavens, a mere splinter compared to the gigantic marlin, is the one he used to bring up his record-breaking fish. And this was way before carbon fiber and other modern materials were used to make fishing rods. He achieved worldwide fame thanks to his record-breaking catch. He was even asked to be featured in Hiram Walker Whiskey's advertising campaign. Although we don't recommend drinking whiskey on a boat while catching giant black marlin. Number 7 almost swallowed by a whale. Whale sharks are really big. Their mouths can get up to five feet long and they can suck in 150,000 gallons of water every hour. Swimming next to one then might take you back to Pinocchio's trip into the whale's belly and suddenly you might worry that that could actually happen to you. Could a whale shark swallow you by accident? James Bartley, 1870 to 1909, is the central figure in a late 19th century story according to which he was swallowed whole by a sperm whale. He died 18 years later and his tombstone in Gloucester says, James Bartley, a modern day Jonah. While photographing a mass of sardines off South Africa's coast last month, a dive tour operator ended up on the wrong side of a whale. The inside, Rainer Schimpf, 51, was in the water with a bait ball, a swirling school of sardines surrounded by predators, when he suddenly felt the world go dark he quickly realized he'd been scooped up by a whale. Fortunately, the whale was likely as displeased about the situation as Schimpf and spit the swimmer out within a couple of seconds. A photographer named Heinz, who was working aboard a nearby boat, captured an amazing photo of Schimpf halfway inside the whale's mouth, above the waterline, with only the diver's lower body dangling out. And once I felt the pressure, I instantly knew a whale had grabbed me. I the whale was a brudas whale. These animals range throughout tropical and subtropical waters worldwide. Number 6. The Thankful Rescue A very grateful killer whale was rescued from some fishing gear off Vancouver Island in Canada, and the freed orca delighted his rescuers by putting on a show. 
Paul Cottrell with Fisheries and Oceans Canada says his team got a call early Thursday morning after a Salt Spring Island resident spotted a buoy being dragged around by a Northeast Pacific transient killer whale. Rescuers from Vancouver went out to help and arrived to find the male orca caught in some commercial prawn fishing gear. Cotro says the team put some tension on the buoy the animal was attached to and the orca rolled out of the entanglement. Once the whale was free, it began to swim off and Cotrell says him and his team followed to make sure it was completely free of the gear. The orca began breaching and slapped the water with its tail several times. It was quite a show he put on, Cotrell said, noting that the reason for the display is unclear, but could have been due to the animal feeling relief. This isn't the first time this particular whale had been spotted getting into trouble. The animal has a bad habit of playing with floats and ropes, according to reports. Rescuing an orca is a dangerous job because the animal can weigh up to five tons. They don't realize that you're helping, so it's very difficult, Cotrell said. But this whale seemed calm and also rescuers got close enough to assist in the situation. The animal didn't seem to have any injuries as it swam away. Number 5. Record-Breaking Lobster Two fishermen caught a giant 14-pound lobster just after 2016's Hurricane Nicole swept through Bermuda, the first major hurricane to directly impact Bermuda since Hurricane Fabian in 2003. Captain Matthew Jones said he and a fellow fisherman were out on a dock at night fishing for snapper and caught something big but didn't realize just how big. It was total accidental luck, Jones said. The team pulled a bit on the fishing line and realized it was a lobster, and a really, really large one at that. Stretched out, its claws were two feet long, and local fishermen believed it is among the largest lobsters ever caught in the area. For comparison, Jones said a typical Maine lobster that most people eat is about one to three pounds. Their catch could feed five people. The record for the largest documented lobster goes to one caught off the coast of Nova Scotia in 1977. It weighed 44 pounds and 6 ounces and was estimated to be over 100 years old. And recently in Wales, a marine biologist caught a massive lobster claw and judging from its size, the owner is believed to be between 2 and 3 feet long, about 3 times the size of an average lobster. The claw is just a molting, meaning that the massive owner is likely still out there on the Welsh coastline waiting to be discovered. There might even be a super lobster, the king of crustaceans waiting on the ocean floor. Number 4. The Great Sardine Run Moving as one, millions of sardines make their way up to the northeastern cape and southern KwaZulu-Natal coastlines of South Africa. The sardine run is known to be over 4 miles in length and 100 feet deep. You might be thinking, sardines? Really? But this really is one of Earth's most magnificent wildlife feats, a truly spectacular sight that few will ever see with their own eyes. Tens of thousands of birds, from cormorants and terns to gulls, dive bomb the twisting mass and an unrelenting aerial assault while myriad predators attack from below. Dolphins work together in a sheepdog fashion, forcing thousands of fish at a time into bait balls, forcing them closer to the surface where they can pounce on their fully suspecting lunch. Shark species including great whites and hammerheads attack from below, gulping down the tasty fish that have learned safety in numbers has its limits in the marine world. This fantastic wildlife migration is actually still relatively mysterious, although there are, of course, theories. The most likely is the temperature change. Being in the southern hemisphere, June and July are winter months and heading somewhat closer to the equator for a bit more warmth seems highly likely. In fact, it looks like the sardines don't bother to migrate unless the water drops below 21 degrees. They like the heat, who doesn't? Number 3. Easy Salmon Hunting a client on a chartered fishing trip ended up in a little game of tug of war with a hungry orca this week and the incredible encounter was caught on camera. Cal Robinson, who runs a charter boat service in Prince Rupert, BC in Canada, was out on the water with two clients when they spotted some killer whales not too far away from where they were fishing. One of the guests hooked a Chinook salmon and was moments away from pulling it out of the water, but the orcas had other ideas. Before I even started recording, a killer whale already had his mouth on the fish. You could just hear the line peeling off the rod, Robinson told the press. Video shows the killer whale swimming towards the boat and coming up for air a few times as the fisherman tries to reel in what's left of the catch. Someone can be heard saying in the background, that's what's left of our spring salmon. 
Robinson said that he's heard stories about killer whales stealing catches from fishermen before, but never in his long career on the water had he ever seen it firsthand. And as a Canadian First Nations person whose crest actually features a killer whale, he said, I was just in awe of the whole experience. I've been commercial fishing since I was five, and I've never seen anything like that in my life. Amazing. Number 2. The Capelin Roll Summer doesn't start in Newfoundland and Labrador, so they say, until the Capelin Roll. Only once thousands of fingerling fish start tossing themselves en masse into the province's beaches to spawn with the skies clear and the rain abate as the season shifts over, one to the next. Whether or not they can trigger seasons, spoiler alert, they cannot. The tiny species that science knows as Melotus velosus is a focal forage fish. That's another way of saying they're high in fat and rich in energy and that everything eats them. Seals, whales, seabirds, other bigger fish. Their significance to the balance of the North Atlantic's marine ecosystem is immense. While cod sustained the local economy and way of life for centuries, it was the capelin they were devouring that brought them inshore. They come to Newfoundland and Labrador on the east coast of Canada beaches every year to spawn, and their arrival is a spectacle that draws in thousands of birds and whales who often put on a show of their own. And though the exact date is difficult to predict, it typically happens mid-June or July. The fish roll marks the beginning of summer weather along with a chance to spy humpback whales coming to feed on these slender, speedy fish. Number 1. The Giant Oarfish Catch The oarfish is a mysterious creature, living at depths from 650 to 3300 feet below sea level. Little is known about the fish that has gone down in legend as a sea serpent. The giant oarfish is the longest bony fish in the world, with sightings from 13 feet upwards. According to live science, the largest giant oarfish ever found was a whopping 110 feet. In 2013, an oarfish extending some 18 feet was spotted just off of Catalina Island in California, where Alexa Johnson and Rich Zanelli of Catalina Island Conservancy came upon the bony fish. It was floundering in the shallows. It died later before being pulled ashore. These long silver herrings have been known to wash ashore after storms. They also have a habit of floating near the surface of the water when they're sick or dying. It's believed that the oarfish may be responsible for many of the legendary sightings of sea monsters and sea serpents by ancient mariners and beachgoers. However, the origin of the oarfish name is unknown. Yet the oarfish is thriving and not considered to be an endangered species. Good luck trying to reel one of these beauties in. That was 15 of the biggest catches of all time. Thanks for watching.